Man, today just feels like a good day to play some Team Fortress 2. I love that game. It's one of the best games ever made. Let me just jump into casual real quick. Nothing could possibly go wrong, right? Like, there's no way that the way I'm saying this clearly insinuates that something's gonna go wrong. Oh yeah, I forgot about... about those. S that's silly me. I forgot about that whole thing that's been going on for a few years now with all of the, you know... <laughs> And you know, the funniest part is that even if this just wasn't an issue at all, and there was no bots or cheaters in TF2 whatsoever, there'd still be another issue that massively got in the way of me having fun in casual mode. Yes. <laughs> Yeah! But fortunately for me, and everyone else who wants to play TF2 in their spare time, there's a safe haven for us. Somewhere free from the bots, and the random crits, and the friendlies sat in a corner with a sandwich out spamming voice lines constantly. It's a magical place. It's a place that we can all call home, free of the hellscape that casual TF2 has become. And that place is indeed... Uncle Topia! <laughs> <laughs> Demo's dead! Well, I guess that'll do. Uncle Topia is a set of community TF2 servers made by the popular YouTuber Uncle Dane. He essentially made a server system that feels exactly how old Quick Play used to feel. You can hop in and out whenever you feel like it, change teams whenever you want to, and all of the maps in the rotation are vanilla maps from the vanilla game. No wacky community server shenanigans in here. Like, who even makes this stuff anyway? Uncle Topia is literally exactly what I want from Team Fortress 2. You take the casual queue, you remove cheaters, and you remove random crits, and then you take all of those casual players from casual TF2, and you fill their brain with like a few dozen extra brain cells, and then that's what it's like to play Uncle Topia. And the existence of Uncle Topia has single-handedly kept me playing this game. Because with casual being the shit fest that it's become, there's just no way that I would still be playing it by now, at least not as much. TF2's lack of development over the last five and a half years has caused a ton of strain on the game because the casual server experience is absolutely dreadful. So community servers are realistically the only place long-term players can go. If you want wacky, funny RTD achievement servers or 10 times randomizers or whatever, then you've got a near infinite number of servers to jump into. The comp players have got their scrims four times a week at 8pm and their mixed servers to find pugs. And if they're really desperate, then you've even got TF2 Center where all of the open players go to get their frag movie clips. And then the jump mains have got Tempus and Jump Academy. One server to go fast, and one server to practice going fast. But if you want to play a relatively vanilla TF2 experience, you really don't have that many places to go. Hell, if you want something exactly like casual, then even Uncle Topia isn't going to be for you. Because Uncle Topia does change a handful of things that make the experience notably different from casual. The most noticeable difference is the class limit of three. You can't have a team of 12 heavies just sat on the cart permanently revved. The game just doesn't allow it. Only three heavies per team. Only three of any class. The other obvious difference is the lack of random crits, which quite frankly is a good thing, and the people who like random crits are clearly masochistic psychopaths. But these are very key noticeable differences to casual. Differences that some people, despite how much I disagree with them, might not want. But Uncle Topia is the closest thing you're gonna get to a casual experience without all of the cheaters and bots. And I'm of course a massive fan of these servers. I play in them all the time. There's a community of regular players that play in these servers constantly, so you start to see familiar faces that you recognize all the time. Kill the noob, Bieber. Have sex with his mother, Bieber, quick. And I think the changes made to Uncle Topia's rules that make it different from casual are generally good changes. Random crits are clearly the worst mechanic in any game ever made, and a class limit of three prevents a lot of very frustrating strategies from ever emerging. In fact, for some classes, a limit of three doesn't even feel like enough. <laughs> oh, it's always the third sniper that gets you. <laughs> It's always the third sniper, it's never the first two. It's always the third But one. this little setup we've got going here is not flawless, because Uncle Topia is a blessing. It's an extremely good server system that is one of the only places to offer a cheater-free casual experience to Team Fortress 2. But whilst it might be a blessing, 
Sometimes it can feel like a curse, because although the rules of the server might be mostly the same as casual, that doesn't necessarily mean that the experience itself can't be vastly different. Because Uncle Topia, uh, it attracts a, a lot of a certain type of player, you know? A type of player summed up by two words that are so cliche and overused that the fact that I'm about to say them out loud makes me shudder in shame. Uh, Uncle Topia has... It has a lot of tryhards. <laughs> I know, I know, I know. But just listen, listen, hear me out. Uncle Dane is probably the most popular TF2 YouTuber that exists right now, and his content is very good. It's well thought out, well edited, and well spoken. But his content mostly is very angled towards getting better at the game. Lots of guides about how to improve your gameplay, or discussions about a weapon or loadout's effectiveness in the game. He even has a series going in depth on how to play engineer on certain maps. His content is geared towards the engineer class most of the time, but even if you don't play engineer, you can still learn a lot from this man's content. And that's great, his content's really good, and I'm not trying to like, disparage or have a go or anything, but his content being the way that it is, likely has an unintended side effect on his servers. Because when he started to advertise his server system, the brand new Uncle Topia that he'd invented, a bunch of his fans start to hop onto those servers. Those fans being the same type of people that watch TF2 content about how to get better at the game. So as you can imagine, there's quite a noticeable correlation between being an Uncle Topia player and trying harder than the average player ever would to win every game you play. Now that's not to say that everyone who plays Uncle Topia is some god gamer or anything. There's clearly bad players playing in the Uncle Topia servers. I, I can't hear him. <laughs> myself included. But what it does mean is that if you're a player who regularly plays on Uncle Topia, regardless of your skill level, chances are you care way more than the average player does about whether you win or lose. And that manifests itself in most Uncle Topia servers as the majority of games being full of people who care about winning way too much. And the team that has the most players that care tends to be the team that wins, and many Uncle Topia lobbies end up being stomps because of this. People who play nothing but meta loadouts on power classes with a pocket medic shoved up their ass. There's always three snipers with 10,000 hours in Kovacs who sit at the back and annihilate you whenever you so much as breathe in the same country as them. Or there's some clown sat on the cart spamming the short circuit so that nobody with a projectile weapon gets to play the game. Oh, those people are the worst, actually. You know, even Uncle Dane says that those people are cringe. He'd be ashamed of and this can be a very frustrating experience to have to deal with when you're just trying to do something goofy and wacky for a laugh in a server. And the thing is, there's nothing actually wrong with this. Like, if you want to play stock demo and go on a hundred kill streak with a pocket medic, then there's nothing wrong with that. It can be fun sometimes to do this. There's fun to be had in completely dominating a pub. And I'm not going to sit and pretend that I don't occasionally put on my, like, gamer glasses and try really hard and play the quickie bomb launcher in pubs, because sometimes that's fun and there's nothing wrong with that. The problem isn't that people like to play play this way. The problem is that Uncle Topia has very quickly become the only place for people to go if they want casual TF2. With casual being infested with cheaters, Uncle Topia is one of the few places you can actually go to get a vanilla TF2 pub experience. And when the only place you're really able to go without having to deal with all the is somewhere that has a lot of players trying harder than average, it can get a little frustrating if you just want to do something goofy. Because there's nothing wrong with wanting to go and spam Scorch Shot on pay- Actually, that's a bad example, there is something wrong. You know, there's nothing wrong with playing cart heavy and trying to win from time to time. That, that's me being Pootis, I'm Pootis. Did you like my- I You did not just go for that. <laughs> <laughs> there's nothing wrong with playing to win, and there's nothing wrong with using loadouts and strategies that are actually powerful and effective for the situation you're in. But the problem is that when you want to do something stupid and silly, and the enemy team is all like... And then you just have to part with it, because God knows that going to a casual server isn't a good solution to the problem. Like, I could go to a 24-7 server or something, but those players are friendlies, and that's not what I want either. Because as much as I'm whining about a very small non-issue in my video game, I at least want the enemy team to actually, like, try and fight me, you know? <laughs> <laughs>
Well, I can't complain about that, can I? And I can already see the comment section now. You just miss casual because you want to go and own new players and you don't want to have an actual challenge in TF2. No, that's just not the case at all. It's not about the skill level of the players. In fact, I actually like that the skill level is higher on average than in casual servers because you're actually playing against people with fingers the majority of the time in Uncletopia. The problem is not the skill level of Uncletopia players because let's not pretend that this guy is some sort of godlike being blessing Uncletopia Topia with his presence. My nan could do that blindfolded and she's been dead for a few years. And just to reiterate, there's nothing wrong with this being your attitude. If that's the way you like to play the game, then that's good for you. I see the appeal of it, I understand. But if someone ever wants a little bit of respite from this, then unfortunately you don't really have any other places to go. Sometimes you can get a fairly decent TF2 casual game, but it's inevitable at some point that you're going to have to deal with the bots. And Valve doesn't seem to be doing much about it anytime soon. Are the Uncle Topia servers bad? No. Is this a very minor thing to complain about? Yes. Am I going to make some people angry by releasing this video that hinges solely on nitpicking about a server system that I play on literally all the time? Definitely. But I think it's certainly worth mentioning because I think it's a side effect of the bot crisis that no one ever really talks about. When all the casual queue refugees look for places to go, they'll of course inevitably find Uncle Topia, which is of course a great server system to play on. But if they want it to be exactly like casual, then they're going to be in for quite a bit of a surprise. Because not only are the server's settings a little bit different, but the attitude of the general player base is vastly different. Completely separated from what you're likely to see in a casual server. Listen, just to go off script for a little bit, I do actually like Uncle Topia, and as much as I do believe everything I said in this video, it's not to say that the servers are bad or that I hate playing on them or I hate the players in them or anything like that. It's just to point out that the experience you get there is very different from what you'd get in casual, even if it's as similar as you're gonna get. And that the bot crisis causes a lack of options of where to go for players who want something as close to casual as possible. Oh, and also, just as a little aside, uh, I'm gonna plug my second channel because I think you should watch it. I don't think I've ever actually directly mentioned it before but I have a second channel where I post little clip videos, almost all of which are TF2 related and almost all of those TF2 clips are filmed in Uncle Topia. It's quite funny and maybe you'd like to see them. So that's my first world problem whining over and I hope that even if you disagree with me you at least understand my frustration. Because when a developer abandons a game suddenly the community is left to pick up the pieces and even in instances where the community does a better job than the developers ever did it's still never perfect and people like me are still gonna make dumb videos bitching about it. Thanks for watching.